Greetings, friends, and welcome to today's Family Altar Audio Devotional. Our scripture reading today comes to us from the book of Psalm, chapter 42, verse 1. And the quote is by William Marion Branham from the message entitled, The Greatest Gift in the Bible. This message was preached on August the 11th, 1957. We hope that you are blessed today as you listen. As the heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. David also wrote in, I believe, the 47th Psalm, being a woodsman, he said, As the heart thirsts for the water brook, my soul thirsts after thee, O God. As the heart, the deer, painted for the water brook, my soul thirsts after thee. Now, being acquainted with the outdoors, and in Africa, and in the jungles, and the eastern countries where this book, the Bible, was written, they have over there great herds of wild dogs, wolves, and David was acquainted with these animals. And a little deer, when these wild, savage dogs run into a herd of deer, they have long fangs. And they one of their choice spots is to grab the deer, is just behind the ear, sink those fangs in, and then swing his weight. When he does it, he rips the deer's neck. That's all of it. The deer goes right down. And if the deer, he cannot catch him in the juggler vein here, as we call it, he's got another choice place. He grabs him right in the flank. And he'll grab it with his teeth like that. And when he swings his weight, he throws the deer off his feet. And the dogs cover that deer and rip him to pieces just in a moment. Now, many times, the deer, when the dog grabs him in the side or up here, if he gets too tight or hold, well, he'll sometimes, the swinging of the deer will make the chunk of meat pull out. Then the animal has the meat in its mouth, and if there's no other dog standing to cut it off, it can sometimes escape, but it's bleeding. The bloods are pouring from the little fella. Now, if any hunter here knows anything about hunting, if a deer can get to water, he can live. If that deer can't get to water, he's dead. And David knew that. And he said, as the heart came as far as the water brook, my soul thirst after thee. Could you imagine the hounds is just grabbed and pulled a big chunk out of his side. His blood life is running out. The little deer stands sniffing for water. The hounds are just behind him. He, he's got to find water or he'll die. David said, that's the way my soul thirsts for thee. Oh, I must have you, Lord, or I'll perish. If you only knew, sinner friend, that the hounds of hell is right behind you, crippled and wounded by sin, and you've got to find Christ or perish. When that sort of a desire gets into a man's heart, he'll find Christ. When you get in that shape, as the heart painted for the water brook, I must have it. I'm wounded. If I don't have it, I'm gone. And when you get to a place that you want Christ so bad, you must have him or perish. You can't sleep at night. You can't eat. You've just got to find him. Blessed are you when you hunger and thirst after righteousness. You'll find eternal life. May God help you this afternoon to have that thirst for that life. 
For there's only one life that'll last forever, that's eternal life, and given only by knowing Jesus Christ and the forgiveness of your sins. He that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath passed from death unto life and shall never come to the judgment. You've done pass from death to life. What it means. We trust that you have been blessed by God's word today. The devotional you just heard was derived from Brother Tim Dodd's Family Altar devotional book. If you are interested in a copy of your own, you can visit store.bibleway.org to order your own copy. If you would like to listen to more daily Family Altar audio devotionals and other spiritual message related content that we produce, we invite you to subscribe to the 10,000 Worlds podcast or visit us on YouTube, Facebook, and on our website at 10kworlds.com. That's the number 10, the letter K, and the word worlds.com. If you feel that this ministry has been a blessing to you and you would like to support us financially to help us deliver more and better content to you in the future, you may easily do so by clicking the Consider Supporting Us link in the description of this episode or visiting our website to learn more. It's okay if you can't support us financially, but would you do us a favor? Pray for us and share this episode with others so that they might be blessed as well. Lastly, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell button so that you get notified when we publish more content like this. Thank you, and God bless you.